Arkansas looking to put together a complete nine innings this afternoon, and they welcome in a Wright State team. And yeah, you're going to see Hagen Smith sit about 92. He'll run it up to 97 on the fastball at times. Big. We're ready to go on a chilly day in Fayetteville. First pitch down low, even colder than that. As we see the Wright State lineup, Reamer, Greenwell, Anglin scheduled to bat here in the first. One and one to Justin Reamer, the shortstop. He's been the usual leadoff man all year. And he's filled that leadoff spot like you would hope for a Wright State team that's usually very good offensively. 481 OBP, so he's a tough out. And I think the success that Arkansas is going to look to have in this series will rely heavily on being able to get this leadoff man retired. A lot of these mid-major schools really lean on the top of the order to have a lot of success. And for the Raiders, it all starts with going. Ground ball to short, and we get our first look at Cole in the starting lineup, and he's sure-handed. The lone senior in the right state lineup. There you go. Knocks it through the fives hit toll. Two out base hit. Took one of three from Kentucky last weekend. This ball has hit a mile up into the overcast sky. And right in front of the track is Jared Wagner to make the catch for Dave Van Horn. OBP of four base attempts. Here he goes. Sky high down the right field line. Lukart has got it. Good communication there. Off the handle, right to short. Throw, good pick at first base by Julian Greenwell. Gets the Raiders out of the inning. Both sophomore from Bullard, Texas, trying to work out of it. Little chopper here to Cole. Fires across, online and in time with the pressure on. In his first start today, Harold Cole has made a couple of nice plays. This ball is hit high and deep to center field. You can kiss that one goodbye. Callie has gone yard for the second straight game, and Arkansas takes a 1-0 lead. First pitch to Sammy Sass. High hopper behind third. On over and on a hop, pops out of Slavin's glove and struck out six. He got the win, and there is Harold Cole's first hit as a Razorback. He is making the most of his opportunity today. Again, we talked earlier. High and deep to left field. Going back to the track as Fisher looks up. It's gone. First homer of the year for Brady Slavens. For a hitter like that, sometimes it just takes one to get him going. That could open the floodgates for a good weekend for Slavens. That's what Brady Slavens has been able to do. High and deep to right center. That's out of here. Arkansas goes back to back. Slavens and now Stovall for the second time this year. Good job by Peyton Stovall. Really nice two strike approach. Staying back on the baseball. And See if I think that was an off-speed pitch. Yeah, changeup that was just up in the zone. Stovall kind of knew he was going to get something slower. This ball hit to straightaway center, playable. Josenberger under it to make the catch. Hard hit ball off the bat of Cole, but fielded cleanly by Arnold across the diamond. Hogs go in order. Well, they'll do more than that. This hit a mile, and it's out of here, and the Raiders are on the scoreboard. Justin Reamer 
launches his second of the season. Capable. Shielded by the runner, he tried to get the tag, did he? He did. 4-3, double play by Peyton Stovall. There we go. Anglin safe, did not get tagged, just as we expected. Luke Hart. But some really good success for Arkansas last year with guys like Turner and Lanzilli who wasted no time getting going. And this is bobbled on the exchange. Anglin just lost it. Area of focus, trying to hit, hit that ball opposite field. This one will work down in the right center field and it scores a run. Fourth RBI of the day for Slavens. Ball homered as well. Went back to back with Slavens. This ball is hit deep to right center, going back off the top of the wall. Here comes the cutoff and in to score. Slavens and for Peyton Stovall, two out, RBI double. Roped and off the edge of the glove of the shortstop Cole. Aggressive running here and sliding into third. High in the sky to deep right center field at the track, reaching up, making the catch. Borfin, but deep enough to score a run. Boston Smith able to tag and score, all thanks to his aggressive running on that last base hit. 7-2 ball game. Quick bunt, takes a little hop on the grass, throw across, is not in time. Trying to get to third, they got him. Heads up play by Dylan Carter. A little bit of a crazy play right here. Reamer tries to bunt for a hit. He actually beats it out, but heads up play by Brady Slavens as a runner tries to go from first to third. And a great job by Dylan Carter. Exactly what you're supposed to do. Played against these Razorback hitters. Meanwhile, Cole gives one a ride to right center. Leaping up at the track and making the catch. What a play by Andrew Patrick. Association and Collegiate Baseball Newspaper. Right on cue, knocks it into left field. That's just a great piece of hitting right there. Back up the middle. Sammy Sass aboard for the third time today. That'll work. Low liner back up the middle. It'll score two. What a gritty at bat by Peyton Stovall. Having himself a day. Yeah, I said he is probably the hottest hitter in the Arkansas lineup today. This is an absolute bullet. Right back through the middle, you see LeSure. He's just trying to make sure he got out of the way of that one. Taking the pitches that were out of the zone and then that battle by Stovall. Tried to Olay it and it skips past Arnold at third. Hard hit grounded to first. Off the deflection, back over in time. What a great effort by Garrick Engel in the second baseman. If he doesn't back that thing up, this game's over. Smoked right over the head of Coyle. That's what you want at a pinch hitter. See a strike and hit a bullet right back through the box. There's three things they talk about a lot in their program. This bouncer gets through the hole at short. Stop at third. Will Lucas Johnson, runners on the corners here, but those three things, ESPN app. As we start the bottom of the eighth, Josenberger hits one to deep left. On the track, Dane Thomas makes the catch. Jared Wagner, who's already stolen the hearts of Hog fans in his first season. He could really do it here, though, if he was to hit a walk off. Go, 
Wind's really died down, but it's a little bit of breeze that there is is still blowing out to left field. This ball is hit high and deep to right center field. Walk it off. Jared Wagner. His fourth home run of the season. Hogs take game one, 12 to two. Nice win for Arkansas. The long ball really came out. Jared Wagner caps off this game with a 12 to two victory.